Oi, oi, guys. Friday morning. Up and at me out here doing it. And, uh, man, have we had some rain. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We hardly had any, and then all of a sudden we had about freaking... I don't know, it felt like it was like 15 foot of rain. <laughs> but uh, there's flooding. South Florida got, got hit worse than us. It was coming up. And then I, I was telling my wife kind of a couple of days ago, hey, you see that storm? Because I don't watch the news or anything. And uh, every now and again I do, and then things on my, on my phone, I'll check a couple of things. But the weather came up on YouTube, and I thought, oh, what's that? And I'm saying to my wife, you know, hey, Eh, as always, hurricanes and everything. Typical bloody, you know, been through it, done that scene, read the book. <laughs> uh, eh, it's gonna pun. I'm like, no, I think we're gonna get hit with a lot of rain. Boom, did we? <laughs> but anyway, this one's going out to Uncle Billy, who we call Uncle Billy, a brother. Um, he uh, he recently recently lost his mum this week. And, uh, you know, heart goes out. And he's part of the group. He's an old school surfer out, out, in, uh, out in Hawaii. And he surfs down in California too. And, uh, you know, the, group, the group's thinking about him. And uh, one thing I want to say to him, and I hope I get this right, Ahuyoho. Till we meet again, brother. Right? Till we meet again. It's not a final farewell. It's not a final goodbye. So this is to him, which is going to lead me straight into the bit about, going to talk about grief. And I know I've talked about this subject before, but I think it's a subject you can't talk too much about, really, because you're never really ready for it. And, uh, but there's a lot of things that s swirl around it. And there's two sides to it too, guys. You've got the person that's there being left behind and you've got the person that's passed on. And yeah, I do, I do talk about a person as even when they're passed on, they're still around. Spirit goes on. So on their side, there's the freedom from the vessel that is the body. The freedom of consciousness, the freedom of energy, the rite of passage. And uh, in Buddhism, we say that you're reborn. And you start reworking the things that you may not have sorted out before in the past life. And, uh, you know, everybody's, everybody's <laughs> looking to die to get to heaven, but you, you live this life on earth, which is heaven. Right there, I saw Sadhguru say that. Why is everybody in a rush to get to heaven when you're living in it? And the way the world is right now, yeah, I understand that. But you know what? If you really look at people and don't paint everybody with a, with a brush, a broad brush, there's good in everything and there's bad in everything. And I like to think that there's more of the good and keep my mind there. So when it comes down to our grief, you know, they've passed on to another dimension. They're on another part of their journey. And that's what it is. It's another part of their journey. And part of that journey is always going to be with you because you're part of them. You know, if you found each other as good friends, you know, you become really close, you become part of. It's part of your life, part of your journey. And we have those people that we hold very close to us and dear to us. And they, they fit as a jigsaw piece right in within the hut. And we feel it when that jigsaw piece goes missing. But it's just, another, it's just a jigsaw piece that's moving to find another puzzle. Or to find another piece of the puzzle that they are looking for. So we go through, we go through these, these things to move through our journeys. It's just part of the movement of energy and consciousness. The consciousness and energy just lives on. There's no way you can have this kind of energy and it just disappears. It's always there. We're part of everything around us. It's energy. Everything's vibrating at frequency. 
so that you can see it. It's all atoms. We're all part of a vast span of universe and we're just part of it. But on our side, why do we grieve? Well, there's that missing jigsaw piece that hasn't been filled back in yet, which, you know, we can we fill that back in with turning to friends and relatives and therapists and talking and doing the things that we have to do and allowing the allowing the jigsaw piece to be there that's missing not trying to fight it just allowing it being aware of our emotions and allowing ourselves to go through those emotions instead of trying to fight them because when you fight them they just stay just stay there guys because you're not dealing with it so allowing 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 the emotion to happen because we're grieving the pieces parts has gone missing the times when we was able to go out together and have good times the memories and remember their memories guys yeah you're going to go to the memories <clears throat> but you know while we grieve they celebrate celebrate the moving on so we look we're looking for that those pieces that have physically gone missing but the actual spirit and the consciousness of the person is still around us so allow that stay the course guys I must stay